Hey guys, it's Phoenix. This is another redstone request, a combo, yet again. I've been getting uh, requests for something to do with space, something to do with Avatar The Last Airbender, and I've also been getting requests for uh, superheroes and superpowers. So um, I've decided to combine all three into a single concept video because it'll make things a little more efficient for me because I've been getting a lot of requests recently. So um, again, if you guys have any redstone requests, feel free to leave a comment down on this video. <laughs> Alrighty, so today I actually have celestial explosions and celestial powers to show you. So um, you're gonna expect things to get a little bit dark in this video, which is gonna be very appropriate for this uh, for this theme. So to basically activate my superpower, all I need to do is look straight down, and immediately things are gonna start orbiting me. Now these are actually explosives, um, and they are really just shuffling through different elements which is an element for uh, Avatar. I don't watch Avatar, so um, I actually had to watch a few videos to see what it was really all about. It's not too bad of a show. Uh, so basically, if I look straight down, you can see that this is a perfect orbit, perfect circle, and um, in order for me to activate these explosives, I actually need to detach myself from the orbit. Now, I'm the center of the orbit right now. You can see um, I've got a bit of an aura around me. And to detach myself, I just have to right click, and now I've detached myself, and now I'm going to get a little bit nauseous, which I think is actually pretty cool, makes this effect a little cooler, in my opinion. And now the fireball is the center of the orbit, so for me to basically activate this uh, explosive, I need to punch the fireball, because uh, the, cause now the explosives are following the fireball, so I need to do this, just punch it, and now things are going to get a bit destructive. that. So, uh, <laughs> see the explosion is quite, uh, massive. Um, okay. The sound's actually quite loud, so I can do this one more time to show you. I'm gonna do it in F5 mode this time so you can see, uh, exactly what's happening. A better view for you. Alright, so look down in F5 mode, and now I can see the orbits, yet again, around me. Now, they're actually, are uh, following me, and it makes a really cool pattern, because I've got the particles executing relative to the, to the armor stand, so actually makes a lot look a lot better. So, in order for me to activate it again, simply detach myself from the orbit. Now I've got a fireball at the center of the orbit, and now uh, I don't know if it's going to be easy for me to punch it in F5, I probably won't do that. Alright, so now I'm going to punch it like this. Now that looks pretty cool. I like how the uh, the void is now visible in for a short amount of time. Now, uh, I'm actually going to go straight to the redstone, and I'm not going to give this for you guys to download just yet, because it is very buggy. Um, you probably didn't see the bugginess. Now, um, the orbits are actually done with this line of redstone. Basically, every time the redstone block teleports uh, one block that way, um, activates a teleport command, which teleports straight to me, and um, does a few calculations. Now, this is done with a Brightmore's... Uh, Orbits filter, I'll leave a download link for this in the video description. And it's really, really quite nifty because um, you can do some really cool things with them. You can create some really nice auras. You would, you would have seen the green particle basically orbiting me. Um, this is done through a few teleport commands. And there's quite a bit of redstone going on here. Um, I won't go through them in a lot of detail, but in, an, in essence, what it really is, is when I look straight down, I'll actually go through it right now. So I'll look straight down. I've got the... Uh, villager, there's actually a villager uh, to being teleported to me, and uh, that villager is the center of the orbit. So when I right click the villager, there's a stats uh, scoreboard which basically tests for that interaction. And when that happens, uh, I detach myself from the villager, and it summons a fireball in its place. And that fireball gets exactly the same UID and name as that villager, so that means the elements. Uh, the planets are basically going to orbit the fireball in the same ma uh, in the same manner as it orbited the villager. And after that, basically all it does is a huge fireball summonings, and um, yeah, it's not <laughs> it's a little complicated, but basically that's the gist of it. I won't go through them in too much detail, but otherwise I'm actually going to get rid of this nausea. <laughs> there we go. Now that's probably damaged a lot of the redstone, yeah, I'm not getting the effect cleared, so let's do that. Alright, yeah, I've damaged a lot of the redstone. 
I have a backup for this, it's okay. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this concept, I think it's really awesome. And if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, and if you guys have any redstone requests, don't forget to leave a comment on this video. And thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video, take care.